Welcome class sa fourth lesson natin sa Earth Science. Today, we will talk about rocks, but in this specific video, igneous rocks yung focus natin. So let us define first what is rocks. So rocks are solid aggregate of minerals or in some cases, non-mineral solid matter. So technically, aggregate, kapag sinabi natin aggregate, ang ibig sabihin nito ay mixture or combination. So, combination of minerals on rocks. And at the same time, there are some rocks that contain non-mineral solid matter. Uh, which means, galing sa living organisms. This is a picture of granite. So, in this picture, you can see the different minerals na present sa isang piece of rock, sa isang piece ng granite. Now, let's go with the classification of rocks. Rocks are classified into three. You have igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. So these rocks technically, uh, this classification of rocks are technically based with the way rocks form. Let's go first with igneous rocks. So igneous rocks form when hot molten rock found beneath the Earth's surface cools down. Pag pinag-uusapan ng igneous rocks, ang involved lagi ay magma or lava. Magma, kung ang molten rock ay nasa ilalim ng pan ng lupa, then lava if the molten rock reaches the Earth's surface. Igneous rocks form when magma or lava crystallizes or solidifies. So these processes turn a matter from any state into solid. This happens when there is a decrease in temperature Lumamig ang lava or magma or kaya naman nag-increase ang pressure where the molecules have no choice but to stay closer with each other. Uh, which in turn, uh, turns lava or magma from liquid into a solid, which is a rock. Igneous rocks are classified into two. You have extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. Extrusive rocks are also known as volcanic rocks. Nagform sila sa surface mismo ng planet natin. So re we refer to the molten rock that reaches the surface as lava. At dahil nakarating ito sa surface, mas mabilis ang pag-cool down nito. So another thing, extrusive igneous rocks also have smaller grains or crystals. On the other hand, you have intrusive igneous rocks. They are also known as plutonic rocks. They form from magma that solidifies beneath the Earth's surface. Dahil sa ilalim ng lupa ito na buo, mas matagal ang pag-cool down nito at mas may malaking crystals. This slide shows an example of both extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks. Technically, para lagi ang mga bato na to. So we have granite and rhyolite. Partners sila in a sense that they have same composition of minerals. Almost the same yung amount ng feldspar, quartz, and mica sa kanila. Pero bakit di sila parehas ng itsura? It is because granite is an intrusive igneous rock at ang rhyolite naman ay extrusive igneous rock. Nabuo ang granite sa ilalim ng crust which permits it to cool down slowly. At dahil nag-cool down siya ng mas matagal as compared to rhyolite na permit yung mga minerals dito na mag-crystallize. So, may kita natin, even with our naked eye, the, dis the distinction of minerals present in granite. May kita natin yung quartz, yung medyo glassy. This could be quartz. Um, you can also see feldspar, yung medyo pinkish, and even hornblende. Ang rhyolite naman, uniform yung itsura niya kasi yung mga molecules ng different minerals were not permitted to crystallize. Di sila nakapagsama-sama. In return, wala tayong ma-observe na crystals sa rhyolite. Aside from classifying igneous rocks based on the location they form, um, igneous rocks are also classified based on their composition. So we have felsic, intermediate, mafic, and ultramafic igneous rocks. Ang pinaka-main difference sa kanila 
is the amount of present minerals for each classification. Mas maiintindihan natin ang difference ng apat na classification if we will first compare felsic and mafic igneous rocks. So the word felsic literally is a combination of words such as feldspar and silica. Bakit? Kasi ang felsic rocks ay rich sa iron, aluminum, and oxygen. The main composition of feldspar. Tapos meron din siyang silica for the sick in felsic. So if you compare felsic from other rocks, mas may kita mo na higher ang silica content nito plus the presence of aluminum and uh, iron and oxygen. The dominance of silica in felsic rocks leads to its light color. Ang felsic rocks ang pinaka-light ang kulay sa apat na nabanggit na classification. Mafic naman comes from the combination of words such as magnesium and ferric. Comparing it to felsic rocks, mas maonte or kaonte ang silica content nito, pero dumami naman ang magnesium at iron content. The presence of magnesium and iron in mafic rocks cause it to have dark appearance. Intermediate igneous rocks have a mineral composition in between of felsic and mafic rocks. Nasa gitna yung amount ng silica dito and even the amount of magnesium if you will compare it with felsic and mafic rocks. Ultramafic naman have the highest concentration of magnesium and iron. Then, lesser na yung silica content nito. Mostly, yung felsic, intermediate, mafic, and ultramafic have partners. Partners, bakit? Yung isa nabuo sa ilalim ng lupa, yung isa naman nabuo sa ibabaw ng lupa. Or intrusive felsic and extrusive felsic. Same goes with other classification. So, isa-isahin natin ang mga ito. Uh, so you have samples of granite here and rhyolite. Yung isa nabuo sa ilalim ng lupa, yung isa naman nabuo sa ibabaw, yung isa ay intrusive at yung isa ay extrusive. So as I have said earlier, nagamit na natin to kanina, granite is an intrusive igneous rock and then yung isa naman, rhyolite, is an extrusive igneous rock but they are both felsic. Same goes here. Diorite and andesite. Diorite is an intrusive igneous rock. Andesite is extrusive igneous rock. Pero they are both intermediate. In a sense, they have the similar content of silica, magnesium, iron, and oxygen on them. Gabbro naman and basalt. Gabbro and basalt have the same composition of minerals, almost the same amount of minerals. But yung isa, Gabbro, is an intrusive igneous rock, then yung basalt is an extrusive igneous rock. They are both classified as mafic. Last example is peridotite, so it is classified as an ultramafic igneous rock. Um, sinasabi na rare itong klase ng bato na to because it only forms on the mantle or in the mantle itself. Uh, lumalabas lang siya sa surface natin, buo na siya kasama ng lava na nag-explode coming from a volcano. So it is rich in magnesium and iron. So that is the end of this video. Um, next part, we will be discussing sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. Thank you.